break and this morning we're celebrating a piece of Western New York history returning home. And just in time for Native American Heritage Month, what had been an unknown story of Western New York has now been solved and the Tuscarora Nation has a long lost artifact back where it belongs. It's a part of our history and the Tuscarora Nation has quite a history migrating south to the Carolinas in pre colonial days. Then after battles with English settlers and other indigenous nations, they moved back north, settling in New York and becoming part of the Iroquois Confederacy or the Haudenosaunee. And now a piece of that history is back home and coming from the very first president is an important piece of our history. Now many are familiar with the Red Jacket Medal that was recently returned to the Seneca Nation by the Buffalo History Museum. But other medals were given out by George Washington in the infancy of our nation. One of them honored Tuscarora Nicholas Cusick, a Revolutionary War hero, spy, personal assistant, bodyguard and interpreter for the Marquis de Lafayette, a French leader who helped the colonists defeat Britain. Now, I've known about Nicholas Cusick since I was a kid. My mom told me about him, explained his exploits in the Revolutionary War and, and his early leadership here in the community. And as I got older and did a lot of research on not just Tuscarora, but all Haudenosaunee nations and history and kind of learning a lot, I was wondering why he didn't have uh, uh, one of those medals of peace because he had such an instrumental role in the 1790s in our community. It was something that uh, we just learned about and uh, didn't know that it was really out there. Turns out it was out there. Chief Tom Jonathan got an amazing call about a year ago. Turns out the medal had been removed from the Tuscarora Nation and resurfaced centuries later at an auction house, lacking any documents showing its original owner. The auction house donated the medal to the Chickasaw Nation, and the nation accepted it, determined to identify its original recipient. Their investigation found that the medal was sold in the 1870s to a collector by U.S. Army Captain Cornelius Cusick, a grandson of Nicholas Cusick, and it was confirmed that George Washington had indeed awarded the medal to the elder Cusick. Recently, a delegation, including Chief Jonathan and other members of the Tuscarora History Group, traveled to Oklahoma to accept the medal and return it to its home. But it was amazing just to actually have something in, in our hands that one of our former leaders from the Revolutionary Air, War era once owned and had. It was uh, a really good feeling. You know, it's uh, always a good feeling is, is good medicine to our people. Yeah, and the medal will be on display to the public this Saturday from noon until 2 in the Tuscarora Nation House. That's on Walmore Road on the nation. And members of the Chickasaw Nation and their historian will attend the event as well as the Tuscarora people say Nyawe, which means thank you. Back where it belongs. Absolutely. Mm.